Welcome! In this video we'll show you how you can convert your secret numbers into a so-called family seed. So in programming and sometimes it's a little more convenient having a family seed. And we can see when we create an account in SUM that the account is always generated with the so-called secret numbers. So you have like, uh, yeah, you've got eight times six digits, uh, which you have to, well, write down, memorize or whatever. Uh, this can sometimes be like a little bit inconvenient, or what, uh, so I prefer to be using the family seed. And uh, you might wonder, is there a way how I can convert my secret numbers into a family seed? And uh, the answer is yes, there's a tool. Uh, so the family seed and the secret numbers are more or less the same thing. So the only difference is they contain the same information, uh, but we can go from the secret numbers to the family seed. And and also the way back, we can like we can derive that. So this this string is being derived by these numbers. Uh, and to to see the direct implementation, it was the proposed uh, uh, change more or less. So if you go to the uh, Ripple uh, Ripple D uh, discussions, then you can see that. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm just gonna mention like that you can see here. Like I said, we've got like both things here. We've got either I'm uh, sorry, we've got either the secret, so the family seed, which starts with an S. Uh, there's something there, or we can use the secret numbers. So whatever is, like I said, easier. So this is the common secret, uh, so the common private key in this case. All right, and like I said, if you want to convert that, so let's say we've got these numbers here. So uh, now let's pretend that these numbers, so I'm just gonna write it down to a file, I guess. I'm just gonna use the no notepad here. Let's say I've got these secret numbers here. Numbers here. Uh, let's say, like I said, this, these uh, come out of the, the app here. So whenever you create a new account, like I said, these secret numbers are being generated for you. Um, right. And, uh, on, and like I said, uh, if we want to convert these, we can go to this tool here. So it is recommended that you download it and, and execute it offline. That's uh, uh, it's safer. But if you don't want to do it, there's also website live. Uh, so this is being run by Vita, so you obviously uh, are trusting this website here. Uh, and the uh, website is secret-numbers-2-family-seed.sum.dev. So it's very important that you're on this side, there might be even fakes and whatever. Uh, so not that many people know about it. However, I would recommend downloading it and running it yourself if you're not able to, or if you don't have to. So it's rather quite simple, just download it and then call and npm install and npm run serve. Uh, but for those people, like I said, without uh, any programming skills or something like that, I would recommend just going to the live set here. And when you're in the live set, you just enter your secret number. So now I just have to copy and paste. So now I'm just going to split screen it here. Now we just have to copy and paste a uh, number of a number, more or less. So copy and paste, but you have to, more, uh, you have to, yeah, you have to, yeah, you, from usually wrote it down to a piece of paper, or whatever. And then you're obviously just copying it uh, by reading it and writing it down. And uh, after you did that, you can see that the website changes and now we can see the account secret here. So now you derived from this secret numbers, the family seed. And uh, yeah, that's basically it's how you can convert it. It's quite simple. And uh, this family seed is being, is, is being used more often. So I also prefer to be using uh, family seeds. Well, some, one thing that's very important why the, the secret numbers were introduced is that it is this case sensitive. So it's very important that you write it down correctly. With lowercase s, h, lowercase w, lowercase u, uppercase l. So it's very important if you don't write it down exactly that way, then it will result in a different account. And that's where the stem was introduced. Like I said, it's, it's easier having six times eight numbers, but sometimes it can be a little bit annoying, especially when you want to import it into sum. Because now I have just this family secret here, and I can easily import it into sum. Now I can just go here to my sum account and click on switch and add account and import, super easy. And I'm gonna click on full access, family seed and paste it here. So for me, it's easier just using the family secret. And now I've got this account, I just got here. Now I can have full access to that account. So that's why I prefer sometimes also in the sum up using that because uh, while importing uh, with the secret numbers can be very exhausting. As you can see here, we'll, we'll have to use plus and minus all the time until everything's written down and it's, it's super annoying. All right, so that's it for this video. So I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.